Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Healthy Living event sponsored by the Juice Plus community. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Carol Turnbow. I'm a senior sales coordinator with the Juice Plus company. I'm also a wife. I'm a mom. I'm a mama. I'm a CrossFit coach. I'm a CrossFit athlete, but my passion is nutrition. I love teaching people that food really can heal the body. Tonight, you're going to be hearing from myself and some of my teammates. We are all on a mission to inspire healthy living around the world. And and I'm going to start tonight by introducing our product line. Our product line is simple and it will remain simple because it's food. It's food that our bodies need on a daily basis. Juice Plus has figured out how to put fruits and vegetables in a capsule and it's just the most amazing concept. I'm going to start by showing you our fruit, our vegetable, and our berry blend, the red, the green, and the purple bottles. These three um, products are 100% plant-based all the way down to the capsule. They are better than organic. They're non-GMO. They're picked at the peak of ripeness and the bottle carries an NSF seal of approval. And what that means that what is in the product is on the label. For instance, this is our fruit label. Might not be able to see it, but I'll read it. The label reads apple, peach, cranberry, orange, mango, lemon, cherry, pineapple, prune, date, and beet. My favorite part of our label is right here. It's a nutrition label. Like I said, Juice Plus has figured out how to put fruits and vegetables in a capsule. This is a whole food product encapsulated. We also have our full spectrum of plant-based omegas, omega-3, 5, 6, 7, and 9. We've all heard that we can get our omegas from fish oil, omega-3s. Juice Plus has cut out the middleman, and they go straight to what the fish eat to get their omegas. So we have a 100% vegan product, plant-based, once again, all the way down to the capsule. And um, Juice Plus gets our omega blend from algae oil, pomegranate seed oil, tomato seed oil, and more. We also have this uh, wonderful complete protein powder that comes in chocolate and vanilla. Every morning I start my day with a complete shake and swallow my capsules. It's an amazing way to just start your, your day every day. We also have a new um, protein called Perform where you get more grams of protein per serving. And uh, that comes in a berry blend, it's really delicious. It's in my kitchen actually. Um, last but not least, we have a tower garden. It's a aeroponic growing system that waters itself. The lights are attached. Um, I'm in Indiana, it's still chilly here. Mine's in my hallway growing fresh herbs and lettuces. In fact, I just harvested a bunch and brought it to the gym today. And I have so much that I'm sharing. I just, I have to give it away because we can't keep up with it. But um, I love my tower garden. If you haven't heard about it, make sure you talk to whoever invited you to the call because the tower garden is an amazing way to get produce year round, even in colder climates. So we have an amazing lineup of speakers tonight. Um, we have Sash Ludwig. She is a national marketing director with the Juice Plus company, and she has brought some people from her team to share their Juice Plus journeys, their stories about their products and the business. Sash, welcome. I'm so excited to hear you guys speak tonight. Well, thank you, Carol. It's a pleasure to be back on this call. It's an honor, and I'm very excited to share my team members and to have people hear their amazing stories and journeys. So I've been with the company for 30 years. It's amazing to say that out loud, but, um, and I came in because of the environmental products, um, the air and water. Uh, we needed those desperately. My son was miserable. It looked like he had a serious case of hay fever at the very least, but he had other things going on. And I became a member to get the best price on those products. And we put air filters in every room and we took the chlorine out of the water and that helped. It made him a little more comfortable but it was not answering the question of why he was having all these sore throats and ear infections and eczema was covering his body and he would get hives and stomach aches in the night and mood swings. But the answer came eventually after going to a variety of healthcare practitioners at Children's Hospital in Boston. And he had a battery of tests. He had allergy tests and blood tests, RAS tests as they're called. And the director of immunology sat down with me and she handed me three pages of paper. The first two were all the foods he couldn't eat. And the next page was all the things that he was sensitive to, such as trees, grass, dust mites, uh, cats, dogs, moles, most antibiotics, food dyes, preservatives, to name a few. 
And then she said, and he's not absorbing nutrients. So he's also in the failure to thrive category. And I was, I was just stunned. I, I just didn't even know how this had happened. I thought I'd been a good mother. I bought organic food. I milled it myself and he never had had a jar of baby food. So I was sitting there with these three pieces of paper, looking at Ben and realizing I was not gonna be able to go back to work. I gave my notice the next day and I was really scared because I was giving up my benefits. I was giving up a career I'd worked really hard for working with kids. And one of the things that we sort of come on to was these kids were really acting out kids. They, they were taken from their home for abuse, but that we were improving their food and their diet and their behavior was improving. And we were really excited about that. And I'd gone back to school to learn some new skills and mind body techniques. So I was sad and I was scared. I was giving up those benefits and I was sad because I was gonna be leaving those kids. But obviously what was ahead was daunting. And we were there sometimes two to three times a week for the next 14 years. So Ben was put on this very rigid diet. It was called an elimination diet. And of course we had to go on the same diet because you can't tell a toddler you got to eat this and we get to eat something better over here. So uh, it was like a uh, shred 10 on steroids. It was wheat-free, dairy-free, soy-free, milk, dairy, everything free diet. There was not much left we could eat. But um, over time, Ben got visibly better. The eczema started to abate. Um, he was feeling better, looking better. And uh, it was right then when Juice Plus was introduced by this environmental company. I thought, well, you know, this sounds great. I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to order it. And it came and I ordered, I just emptied two, two of each, two fruit, two vegetable into applesauce. I said, whoop it down, Ben, whether you like it or not. And he did. He was pretty good about it. And people noticed um, and they wanted to know, what are you doing? And I said, well, he's at Children's Hospital and they put him on an elimination diet. and He's getting this Juice Plus stuff. Well, what is that? They wanted to know. And I said, well, it's fruits and vegetables and diet in capsules. And they said, well, we don't get enough fruits and vegetables. I want some. Can you get us some? And I didn't, there was no way to order it really, except for me to sell it out of my own supply. So I, I did for a couple of people. They came back and they, they were having good results. My husband's regular. I feel better. I have more energy. I'm not having allergies so much. And I, well, I thought that was good, but I really wasn't thinking about it. And, um, and then these good customers were coming back and saying, could you send some information to my sister? She's really interested in this. I'm thinking, uh, no, I can't do this. I, this I, can't, I don't have time for this. I don't know how to do it anyway. So, but that's when I had an epiphany and it, several epiphanies. And it was one, maybe I could train these happy customers to do this themselves. I didn't really know what that was, but I could train them to, share it with their friends and family too. Maybe this environmental company was really onto something with this fruits and vegetables and capsules because my son was happier, I was happier. These, everybody was getting happier on this stuff. And three, maybe it could replace the income that I had just given up eventually. So I was getting kind of excited and um, I built a customer base and that those customers became team and they started to share it with their friends and family. And it really became uh, me figuring out what Pammy Shepley used to say, figuring out how to do this business in stolen moments, like when Ben took a nap when he was little, and then as I drove him back to school out of town um, and at soccer games and talking to people and excited that I was onto something with this company and, uh, and these products. So my team grew and uh, people who were on Juice Plus were getting healthier with this Juice Plus stuff. And every year, Ben got a little bit better, and he was able to tolerate some of the foods on the list and enjoy more time outside without getting wheezy and sneezy. And time helped for sure. Uh, the elimination diet was critical, and Ju Juice Plus helped immeasurably because it helped him calm down his immune system and balance it out. Um, because prior to that, it saw everything as the enemy, everything. And as well, I don't really know, um, but I'm pretty sure that it helped his gut microbiome as he was given so many antibiotics as a toddler. I'm sure whatever microbiome he might've had, it was wiped out. So um, I'm grateful that I got to stay home with him every single day and uh, build, build a business around his health challenges. And he got to, got to go to all those soccer games and pick him up at school. And when Ben was eight, my oldest brother, my last living relative, was diagnosed with a glioblastoma, a deadly brain tumor, and um, 
my sister-in-law was going to put him in a nursing home. And I went, no, no, you're not going to do that. I'm going to bring him and have him live with us. So we did. And I took care of him until his death for 11 months. It was pretty stressful taking care of Ben and my brother. But I gave my brother, knowing that his prognosis was not good, um, I gave him Juice Plus every day and the complete. And despite his um, uh, you know, decline, I know that it improved the quality of his life just by, just by taking it. And for my personal health, um, it's really helped my passion for sports. Um, I'm still involved with rowing and I know every day that I get to row that it helps me. I have osteoporosis and despite my best, in, my best efforts, I break bones. And I'm so grateful for Juice Plus because it, uh, and the Complete because uh, it really helps me heal quickly from injuries and fractures. And lastly, about eight years ago, I can't remember when the, the Omegas came out, but um, I was diagnosed with macular degeneration. And uh, my mother, I, I was devastated by this because my mother went blind with it. And, um, but every year I went back to the ophthalmologist and he said, no, it's still so light. I just, I, I could miss it. And I, so that's been um, about nine years and it has not progressed. And I'm really grateful for that because it still allows me to read every word that I want to read and take pictures. I'm a photographer and take pictures for all, all the things that I enjoy. So um, with that, I'm going to turn it over now to a, a team member, Jesse D. Benedictus. I met him about six years ago in BNI, and he's one of my favorite people. I love talking with him, and you're going to see he has great insights in life. He's very enjoyable. He loves life, and he works really hard in his construction company. So, Jesse, take it away from your car there. <laughs> well, taking those stolen moments, you know what I'm saying, yeah. Sash? <laughs> so, uh, welcome, everyone. Sash, thank you so much for the introduction. My name is Jesse De Benedictus. I am married and have two boys, uh, 18 and 16. And like Sash said, I've been taking Juice Plus now for six years. And um, these, these I was going to call them pills, these capsules are amazing. Okay, there, there's magic in them. Um, I've been physically working hard, uh, solid for 15 years at the time there. And Sash, I met her in a B&I. And this business network group, if people are interested in that, that's always another way of uh, networking. And uh, she was uh, kept on promoting this to me. And I was like, what, what, is, what does this woman want? I mean, seriously, she's like, your, your immune system's better. You're, you'll feel better. You're, um, you'll think better. You'll, your skin will get better. Your hair will get better. I'm like, I don't think I have any issue with the hair thing, you know? Uh, you'll uh, dream better, and after going to a couple of events, you'll even poop better, okay? <laughs> and uh, and it, I'm telling you, these things make you feel better. And it's been a mag magical experience because it stopped my migraines. Uh, I was having severe migraines for a long time, and uh, I, I did not know it was going to help them. And I've actually passed it off to my mom um, and she's been taking them and she's noticed a slight difference. She suffers a little bit differently than I did, but, um, and I noticed that, uh, you know, a few years back, I had a little problems with the business as, uh, like I told you, running a construction business, um, for 20 years, as Sash said, and, uh, I, I work like a dog and, um, I ran into some problems because running a business is not easy. And uh, I stopped taking Juice Plus because I thought I couldn't afford it. And then I was like, man, I'm getting these headaches again. Am I, do I have parasites? Do I have this? Do I have this pain, um, like, like constant pain? Like every weekend, I just suffer more and more from these headaches. And so I was like, what's missing here? And, and, and I started taking Juice Plus again because I called Sasha. I was like, I got I to start taking this stuff again. This is, what am I doing? Why am I suffering so much? Why am I waiting for, uh, for spending five dollars a day? I mean, that's really what it is in the end. And the headache stopped, and uh, that's been the my amazing journey uh, experience through taking Juice Plus. It's not a long one, and uh, it's pretty simple. But that's how simple it can be. I think sometimes we're we think we don't need something. We're always skeptical and 
and wondering what, what are these little things? It's just like, it's vegetables, it's fruits, it's berries. That's it. And like, you're like, but, but I get those from up the store and stuff. No, it's not the same. It's not that part of that whole food diet that, you know, we nutritionally need um, with the omegas. Those, those things are magic. I like, like seriously, like coming from the algae and the plants and stuff like that, and from fish. And when I take those, that, that's like a super food. And, and someone just recently said like, ah, put it on your skin. I'm like, really? So like I put it on my skin the other night because I had serious razor burn and it's gone in one day. It's, it's really cool. So, um, so like, like I said, I've been in my business now for 20 years. I had to learn everything about everything in construction. Um, when you, when you own it, you own it. <laughs> Every aspect from marketing to sales, to, um, understanding tools and materials, this business, I just became a partner just recently, and this business is so simple. I don't have a lot of people on my team yet because I'm just trying to figure out how to work the portal. It takes a little time, you know, I'm getting there, but it's all a learning curve. And I think that's another thing, you know, join, either joining the business or even just taking this is uh, it's, you got to learn to uh, just kind of give in a little bit. So I've given in and um, I'm looking forward to this this future with juice plus the team is amazing as you'll hear all these stories i mean these are success stories but also um being part of the business is pretty impressive they're how how it's all team orientated the the level up program you know uh, all of a sudden i'm watching this room and and i'm familiar with this woman that's from the stage lauren I'm sorry i forget her last name all of a sudden but uh she's part of the tony robbins team and this tony robbins team i belong to that team Look, like I've known her for a few years now. And uh, so it's pretty cool that Tony Robbins sees the benefit and Lauren has brought in uh, that influence into the um, Juice Plus company. And uh, I see a huge future in it. Um, and, and it's a lot simpler than construction, but I'll still run my business, but I am definitely uh, telling everybody about it. Uh, I'm definitely going to be getting a tower garden soon for my office. I think it's really cool. Green, healthy living. I told some of the colleagues there and they're like, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I, I'm cutting back. Everyone's starting to eat healthier these days. And uh, I just look forward to uh, sharing more stories, uh, the life changing experiences that I have for myself and also to make for others because it's, you're doing a disservice by not telling people about this product. And uh, I hope to uh, be on here more and help help more people in the future. And I really appreciate this opportunity, Sash. Oh, Thanks. Thank you, Jesse. We're really glad you were on and you have an amazing story. Keep sharing. Um, oh, I next, will. Oh, okay. <laughs> our, our next person that I'm going to introduce is Tamara Gora. She's new to our team within the last year or so. She's under Joanna, who you'll meet also tonight. Tamara's very health oriented. She's beautiful. She's into health and beauty, and she has an amazing background in graphic design, and she's an artist, not unlike Joanna. And um, Tamara, tell us your, your story. Share that with us. Thank you, Sash. It is an honor to be here because Juice Plus has hugely impacted my life in many ways. And ironically, I've always thought of myself as a healthy person. I became a strict vegetarian in my 20s and I exercised and knew the importance of drinking water. However, for as healthy as I was, I had a lot of health challenges culminating in me finding out I was in kidney failure at the age of 45. I had two daughters, five and a half, and she was in first grade and a three-year-old toddler. I will never forget that gray drizzly day when my then husband and I met with a nephrologist who told us I was in stage five kidney failure and that I would need to be on dialysis in January, and this was November 5th. He gave us a bunch of information about dialysis, transplant, nutrition, et cetera. We left in a bit of shock. It's funny, I was hungry, and because my doctor told me I wouldn't be able to eat dairy after I was on dialysis, I was craving clam chowder of all things. So we got some, went home, and my husband went to work. That weekend, I spent a lot of time meditating and feeling like I was just waiting to get very sick, then go on dialysis and wait some more. I didn't like that at all. The feeling of waiting until I was almost dead is what I felt like. After a week, I called my daughter, doctor and told him I just wanted to get the process started. 
Waiting wasn't going to make it go away and I might feel even worse. My dialysis surgery for inputting all the tubing and stuff was now scheduled. I remember I didn't cry. I, I think I was in shock. This also really wasn't a complete surprise because two years earlier, I'd had an emergency hysterectomy as a result of me losing too much blood. See, I was healthy though. <laughs> but um, so at the same time, I had lost so much blood that my organs were shutting down, my kidneys included. I was told they believed my numbers would go back to normal once I was stable. However, my kidney numbers still showed they were only functioning at 50%. Now my kidney numbers now tests needed to be done. To make a long story short, I was diagnosed with IgA nephropathy, which is an autoimmune disease that attacks the kidneys. At the time, at the time, um, I'm sorry, I was told that only about 20% of patients ever need a transplant. I thought two kidneys at 50%, they equal 100%. So I was gonna be fine. However, it doesn't work that way. They fail as a unit, but thankfully our bodies only need one. There are many challenges, but the worst part of the whole experience was the loss of control. I am sure that is why I chose to start dialysis when I did. I searched for books on how to survive dialysis and kidney failure and found nothing. I only found cancer support books. I found one book by a woman who had a chronic cancer disease, and her book was all about finding control where you can. That made sense to me, and I learned to do just that. I controlled what I could, which was mostly my attitude. I had to stay in the moment because I knew I could handle that. Life went on. I didn't tell many people, which helped keep it not the focus. I did peritoneal dialysis at home. I had to be attached to my machine for eight hours at night, and I would do exchanges three times per day and was able to be empty, which means no fluid on my abdomen, for a few hours each afternoon. That, that was when I could pick up my girls. My younger daughter would ask me, are you empty, mommy? Everyone helped out. Fortunately, after being on dialysis for almost a year, I had a successful kidney transplant. I was blessed to have a few people offer to donate a kidney, and my brother was deemed the best match. I've been a healthy kidney transplant patient for 15 and a half years. Of course, I had to start taking anti-rejection drugs and Lipitor because these drugs raise cholesterol. I discovered Juice Plus about six months after my surgery. As I was getting back in shape, I was working out with Olympians and elite athletes, and they were all taking it. I knew in spite of my diet being mostly fruits and vegetables, I was not getting enough nutrients. The only change I made was starting taking the Juice Plus Trio. Four months after starting taking it, my doctor let me go off Lipitor because my HDL ratio to my LDL was so good that I didn't need to be on it anymore. My, I, and that is a big deal because he was very, very conservative and he was very impressed. He actually started taking Juice Plus too, but my, my family also took it and I really noticed that none of us ever got sick and I was immunosuppressed and I, I never get sick. I don't even believe it. That was 15 years ago today and my HDL LDL ratio is still off the charts and I'm healthier than I've ever been and I'm 61 now. All of because one simple change. There is nothing better than feeling good and getting my health back and I feel I have control again. And I'm 61, but another thing is that I know I can do this business for the rest of my life because I feel compelled to share the good news of good health. Thank you. Thank you, Tamara, it's an amazing story and you hardly look 61, more like 31 maybe. So thank you, it was an incredible story. And last but not least is uh, Joanna Jan Gardella. She's from San Clemente, California. She's been on our team for about 15 years. She's a dear friend. She's an incredible artist and an author, and I'm very privileged to know you, Joanna, because you've been an incredible inspiration to not only me, but to your team and to all of the people that you help through the journey that you've had with cancer. So we look forward to having you share your story. Thank you. Thank you, Sash. I really appreciate those kind words. Um, yeah, my name is Joanna Giangardella. My last name kind of goes off the page. And uh, I do have pride in saying that I am a stage four cancer survivor. And at one time, not the pride, I was one of those who said, I don't need Juice Plus. I eat really well. So um, you can relate, right? Um, I didn't really take the time to really see what Juice Plus was about, 
uh, the benefits, the research, talk to people, listen to people. I didn't take the time. I just said, I need, I, I eat fine. I know that you can all relate to people you reach out to that say the same thing, right? Memorial weekend of this year, I will celebrate my 15 year cancerversary from what they considered to be a terminal cancer. For 40 years, I was in the service business. I was in the beauty industry owning five hair salons within my career and I had big plans to retire, garden, paint, and travel to Greece, my birthplace. Well, that didn't work out as planned. I was an environmentally unsafe industry, add stress, money driven. You kind of get the picture, right? Oh, and I don't have, I always said I don't have family history of cancer. That's one thing I didn't have to worry about. But because I did say yes to Juice Plus, I am able to go back to Greece and see my family every year, which I'm so thankful for. What I'm saying is that having plans for your future is great. And, but you just have to plan for something maybe a little differently than what you expected. And, you know, how to get there. You don't know how you're going to get there because tomorrow is a whole different day than today. Within this last 15 year period, the cancer returned after my mother was killed in an automobile accident. It was very, very stressful and very emotional. And I was then placed in a stem cell transplant program, but I was infected during the program. They took me off right away because I was infected with hepatitis B and my liver was shutting down. So I almost lost my life. I jumped into the Juice Plus products 100%. I jumped into the concept of residual income. For me, God's gifts for both. We all feel that we feel good at the moment and that's enough. What happens is that once we experience a symptom, it's when things change. You're fine until you, you feel a symptom and then that symptom usually is late stage, can be late stage cancer. Something happened when I went to my first Juice Plus conference and I wanna share this with you. When I went to my first conference, Dr. Santella spoke. He spoke about his father's cancer journey and mentioned a book called Dr. Eretz Nucleus Diet. After I had my first child at 19 years old, my immune system took a dive. And two years later, I was diagnosed with asthma, not being able to breathe. I went to a personal trainer and he told me to read that book. I did and I dove into fruits and vegetables wholeheartedly got away from my burgers and Diet Cokes. One year later, I was completely off the meds. When I heard that, I knew I was in the right place, the right company, the right concept, and the right product. I was enthralled. What Juice Plus Business has also done for me is that now I have the time and the resources to help others who are struggling with cancer. It is a lonely disease. Even if you have a thousand of loving, wonderful friends and family around you, it is a lonely disease. People who are diagnosed to, you don't want to, it's hard to talk about what they should be doing and everybody wants to give them advice. They don't want to be they don't want to overload their family with everything that's going inside of them. And that's why usually we all are looking for someone to talk to someone who is going through that journey. And that's where I come in. I walk with them. I talk to them. 
I guide them and I am on their direct dial. And that is what I'm able to do to people diagnosed with cancer because of my Juice Plus business. I just had someone contact me today whose brother's in Australia and has been diagnosed with uh, cancer. There are two major gifts that Juice Plus can give you to bridge the gap of what you should be eating and you don't, none of you, no one does. And another is a stream of income. You don't go out in a blizzard naked and you don't put your child in the car without buckling him up. Then I say to all of you and everyone who is invited to this call, buckle yourself up with Juice Plus. I really appreciate being on the call tonight. Thank you so much. Oh. Well, thank you, Joanna. And thank you all, all of Tamara and Jesse who uh, shared your stories. And it's just really important for people when you hear these stories to understand that um, we say that Juice Plus doesn't cure or mitigate any disease, but if you give your body the right tools, it can heal itself. And as Dr. Corson, who's on this call tonight, if she were to summarize um, her, her um, incredible expertise, she might say that all of us um, and all of the people who have had these benefits significantly decrease their oxidative stress and decrease significantly increase the um, inflammation systemically and we got better immune function more balanced and less inflamed and better tissue and healing repair and that's what the value of incredible food which is what just plus is can do for anybody so i'm very grateful that we were on this call thank you carol thank you cheryl thank you joanna and tamara and jesse and um we just need to stay healthy <laughs> yes Thank you guys so much for sharing your stories. We're here every Thursday night um, sharing stories, talking about our Juice Plus journeys, the products and the business. We invite you all to stay for our business training event. It's immediately following this uh, event right now. Um, I'm going to end this call and we will see you all next Thursday.